So today we're going to be taking LR Gogeta Blue into the Vegeta Blue Evolution state of the Supreme Battle Spectacle. We're going to see what he's able to do in this uh, specific run here. You know, I might have to specifically... Uh, yeah, I realize because this is going to play the... Uh, once we get to the stage, it's going to play, play Genkai Topa Survivor, I believe. So that's going to be fun. But for now, we can at least have Beast Gohan's intro playing. And then when we can, we'll transform with Gogeta. I think we have some pretty good rotations. And, you know, put the release of him on Global Dokkan within the next few days. I think it'll be a good time to show this guy off and see what he could do here. Okay, thank goodness Beast intro saved me here. So again, with Gogeta, I probably, for this showcase, will keep him on rotation like this. We have a good amount of links active. My Gogeta Blue is 69%. I do have 17 additional, 7 dodge. Honestly, I think this is a pretty fine build for him regardless. He doesn't really need Belt and Crit because he's super effective. Then when he transforms, he does gain crit as well. I could float him off. I think the ideal situation is to float this guy off. But for this guy, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep him on rotation. And we're going to build his extra defensive stack that he can get. This can make it longer to get the target skill. But I feel like getting the target skill in this specific fight is not really that big of a deal. Because we can't really dodge anyways. I think I'll grab all these with you though. Just so that you can get a bunch of your stats. What I might do, honestly, by the way, with the OST is I might just like mute it. I just keep talking until we complete an active skill. <laughs> because I just like, I don't know. Um, like, I I'm also kind of lazy just to bring up the like OST that I can play in the background. And sometimes it's kind of jarring. All right, so obviously Beast Gohan will do his own thing. Being able to lock slot one down just fine. Gogeta Blue is not a character that could really sit in slot one until he's transformed kind of but again in this fight he's not really going to be a slot one behemoth like he could usually be it seems like we might very easily get through this first phase though i mean we are doing pretty good damage even just starting off here so that's a good thing uh, again beast gohan is just beast gohan right able to hold his own extremely well so gogeta does guard for the first three turns so so even if he would take an attack we would still be fine i'm fairly confident he would be able to live a super attack from this guy i think maybe we might need to get the like 70 percent chance super here but i feel like with the guard ability he should be fine against this guy's super i haven't really seen it myself if you guys have seen it and we don't see it in this video let me know in the comments below but one reason why Gogeta Blue I still think is going to be good in this stage, even though he can't get his dodge ability when he's transformed, is because he has the 70% chance to counter Key Blast super attacks. And he doesn't nullify that, right? It's not something he has to dodge to do. He nullifies it. So with that in mind, he has a 70% chance to take zero damage from the super attack anyways. And he will, of course, deal damage back to the enemy. So that's going to be good. Uh, Tech God Goku should eat this still pretty well, but still going to do, yeah, 200k damage, as we see right there. Um, this guy, again, this, this is a devastating boss, this Blue Kalkin and Evolution Vegeta. Very tough boss to get through. We'll probably go ahead and, well, first they have to mute that. We'll probably just go ahead and grab this with you. We'll give Blue Evolution just this, and then I do want to give as many Rainbow Key Swords as I can to you. So we'll do, I mean, this would be kind of cool for the hp healing but i think i'll do this just so i can get the extra slight bit of damage reduction and that should be fine to me so yeah again gogeta blue the thing i really like about him is that you can kind of just throw him in many different situations he has the rainbow orb changing again the third three turn guard is great so even if you decide to keep him on rotation to potentially get an extra stack you do have him with the guard still on that you know second appearance but if you float him off and decide to get him transformed, you could transform with him instantly. And even though he doesn't have the guard, it won't really matter because, again, you're just going to transform with him. I want to try and delay doing too much damage here. Obviously, I had to put... Well, I guess I could have put Beast Go on Slot 2, but I wanted to get Blue Evolution Vegeta's Revive. I think that's five hits in the middle. And we barely missed the 24 key, so this is not guaranteed great. 
If he, he gets upgrade, right, he still has a 50% chance in his super attack effect, which uh, we didn't see right there anyways. But I don't think we do enough damage here to kill. I think the only thing I'm worried about is blue evolution and uh, blue cow and Goku at the end. But they should be good. It's just that we're at 500k HP. I think if we're at full HP, we're good. But I could see them reaching like 500k to 700k damage that they could take depending on the situation so hopefully he supers here okay yeah we should be good because these guys have a three attack cooldown until they get super attack again so i'm pretty sure after this attack they're not going to super attack us again in the turn which is good right uh very very good thumbs up right there so these next three attacks that we receive at the end here we literally are not going to take damage from which is helpful i think we might want, yeah, want one more super here just to be able to tank the normals. Okay, so next rotation is UI Goku, Blue Gogeta, and then Beast Gohan. See, I I don't want to do again. I don't want to do too much damage because I want actually I I actually want to get a stack with Blue Gogeta. Maybe if the attack patterns work out really well, but we are getting a lot of attacks here. So I, I think Beast Gohan and Salt One will obviously be able to finish off. Um, this guy specifically so yeah again because i could i could use this target skill <laughs> uh, i could theoretically use the target skill. we also have the revive with ui goku so i could also risk it and put this blue good gear one he'll take a lot of damage though mm, see if i use the target skill here i can get a stack with blue gogeta and i think that'd be kind of funny i could do that and then keep ui goku maybe or yeah you know i think for the purposes of this being a showcase for what's his face um the gogeta i actually will <laughs> this is not the correct play but i will use the target skill in order for me to get the extra stack i think is what i want to do here uh, well i guess that one thing that sucks i want to grab the same type orbs to heal as well so what i'll do is we'll just grab this here We'll use this target skill, and then uh, we'll see what Blue Goji is able to do. Or I guess we'll, we'll get a stack is what I'm trying to say, right? Dude, I'd like messing my words like twice. Oh, this is not grabbing the steel herbs. That sucks. Oh, well, that's fine. And we'll bring UI over here. We'll just get this with UI. Yeah, again, I think this is fine. Um, because watch him super me instantly right here. He did not, but okay, it's fine. Gogeta Blue would not have done too well and saw one anyways with 200k defense a guard. These normals, this guy's like these guys hit for like I think it's 900k normals before they super. It's it's crazy the amount of damage they can actually do. So it is definitely best to be safe than sorry to not like let this guy receive all those attacks. That would be very annoying. And again, this is a Gogeta showcase, so we're just going to go ahead and use that to our advantage. The active skill, right? Because we don't really need it in the final phase. I think we'll be fine because, again, we want to see what Gogeta Blue actually will tank at the final phase. So, not that big of a deal. We could potentially, again, get the target skill by the end, but I just don't think that's going to be a thing uh, that we'll really see. Is it still going to play? Yeah, the stupid OST goodness i hate this ost so much um i could i don't really need to use target scope but we'll use blue evolutions uh active scope actually that'll be good to play I'm like trying to work around the OST, y'all. <laughs> uh, again, Beast Gohan. Just we'll sit here in slot one. We'll get this with Blue Evolution Vegeta. I need to get two Rainbow Orbs with God Goku, though. See, I'm... Uh, uh, okay. If I bring this down, I can get two Rainbow Orbs. It just sucks for the healing. Actually, still can't. Okay. Well, you know what? <sighs> Screw you, Vegeta. Oh, well, we have the revive anyways. In worst case scenario, but I think we'll be fine. For, yeah, we'll, we'll still be fine. We'll still be fine. And especially because Vegeta's going to be able to super first. I, You know what I could have brought? I could have brought the Scouter. And then maybe we could see where the super attack was. And then like put Blue Gogeta where it is. But 
For all intents purposes, the super attack is likely going to be like in slot 1. Now, the thing about Blue Gogeta is that even if we take a lot of damage here, Blue Gogeta is going to be able to heal us. 54% HP, which is going to be very massive as well. And, you know, if you also fall under HP threshold of 50%, we could still get the Blue Cow Cannon Evolution Vegeta active skill next turn. They're also going to link really well with Gogeta Blue. So that'll work out pretty nicely, I think, overall. Um, Blue Evolution here. Yeah, he's going to be cooking. There's no way he dies. Like, actually, zero way. This super hits pretty hard, though. It does hit for basically 3 mil damage. But uh, this guy, yeah, with the triple super especially, now he's definitely fully built up. He has his 50% reduction. He should be, like, 1.5 mil defense at minimum. And yeah, we're building up more reduction there. Tech God Goku, like without his two Rainbow Key Spheres, he's missing a chunk of defense, but he has 77% reduction and type advantage here, so I'm still not really too worried. Yeah, he didn't even super attack me at all, so not even a big deal. Uh, we could put, dude, I could put Blue Gogeta instantly in Slam 1 right there, could I? <laughs> I could do that, I could do that. <laughs> I might do that actually. <laughs> Putting Blue Gogeta slot one. We get prepared for battle with you, but we get Super Saiyan and Warrior Gods with you. So I think this will obviously equal out to more attacks. Specifically, we'll grab this with you here. You can grab five Rainbow Key Spheres. Actually, I'll grab the five Rainbow Key Spheres because I think that's funny. And then Beast Gohan could just do whatever. Again, Gogeta Blue. He has the... Okay, well, he gets a lot of defense on a super attack, right? Once he actually supers. I believe he does get 100% attack defense on super attack still. So that's going to go from 360k. I think that goes to like 720k. Then he gets the 50% attack defense on super attack on his 12 key, which he's going to get guaranteed two of those. So that also doubles that 700k even further to 1.4 mil. And then if he gets the... um, What's it called? If he also does get the hidden potential additional, that'll be another 50%. Blah, blah, blah. You guys get the point, right? Um, essentially, big defense number post super attack. Because that's how multiplicative passives work, right? <laughs> All right, Blue Godzilla, let's see what you got here. You are hitting a 12.5 mil attack stat again. He does also massively raise. Let me turn this music down. He does also massively raise attack for four turns, right? So next turn, his target skill could actually do some pretty decent damage. The one thing is that he can't crit because... You can't build up his dodge chance, at least on this team build. You could run Tech UI Goku's team. You could also run Tech UI Goku as a friend lead, I guess, right? And the thing with him is that he will also be able to, um, what's the word? He will still be able to, like, disable the enemy's dodge effect and then Gogeta Blue could start dodging, right? That, that's, like, very good. So that's another reason why this guy could be good in this fight. Uh, counter this, counter this. Yes! There we go. 70% chance to counter again. Even though he cannot dodge, he could still counter this key blast super attack right there. Bam. And then, yep, look at him go. Cook, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you already know. And then he's taking 200k. Ouch. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Ouch. That's more damage than I thought he would take it there. Okay. Um. Well, Blue Evolution's normals hit very hard. So I guess that's a thing. So, I mean, okay. He can counter the super. I actually didn't think he would take that much damage. Blue Evolution's normals. How hard do they hit again? Um. Let me take a look here. I feel like I keep saying, um, um, my bad, y'all. Let's see. Blue Evolution Vegeta's normals. I thought they hit for, you know, they might hit. Actually, yeah, no, because it's a greatly raised attack, if I believe, right? So with that being a greatly raised attack, his normals hit definitely harder than I was thinking. If I got the hidden potential system super attack, though, he would have actually taken um, under 100k easily, and I would have lived. Are there other ways? I mean, if I put Beast Gohan in slot one, we would have been fine. Like, he would have still lived there as well. If I had him with more dupes, he would have been fine. Or, again, if I brought Tech UI Goku, again, if you bring Tech UI Goku as a friend, he could do fine as well. I, yeah, I kind of wish mine would tank the normals a little better, but being fair, mine, again, only has one dupe. I think with the second dupe, that, that would actually matter a lot. That adds a decent amount of stats still, or again, even if you have them rainbowed, right? That would be pretty good, but mine, unfortunately, was like about... 
again, a 100k defense from being able to live or so. Which, you know, again, if I got that fourth super attack, we would have been good. Is this what I want to show, really? I mean, yeah. Again, this is a fight where most teams you can't dodge. But if you're able to dodge with Gogeta Blue, I would have 100% lived that turn, right? Again, if I brought UI. And the only reason I didn't bring UI is because I was scared that he would kill. <laughs> but you can literally bring the same team build bar for bar and then bring UI Goku as a friend. And then on that turn, you would be able to domain with him. And then with that, Gogeta Blue would have been able to dodge, right? I, I feel satisfied with this, actually, even though I did die. I think we showed what I needed to. And I do have to use my Gogeta runs for other stuff. So, all right, my Vegito Blue runs, whatever. Vegeta Blue. I did, this is so many, like, cause Vegeta, Vegito, Gogeta, Goku Blue, blah, 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 whatever. Let me know what you guys think about this guy in this fight. I think, actually, he's pretty good still. Um, disregard the fact that he took 200k normals, but whatever. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.